Hey guys, Ryu here with another video for Blender. In this one, we're gonna be talking about fixing problems with bevels. If you work in hard surface and you model something, you probably realize that quite often when you add bevel, you're gonna see a lot of shading problems. And I'm gonna show you in this video how to solve these problems, okay? Now, this model is actually a part of tutorial for Blender Bros membership for February. I'm still in the process of finishing it. I just finished modeling, but I still have to do texturing and detailing with some decals or trim sheets and then rendering. But you know, it's a pretty badass looking uh, kind of a mobile generator. Okay. So anyway, um, let's get back to our bevel problem. So on the front here on these slides, you can see clearly there is some kind of a shading problem here and we're going to grab this piece and go to local view okay so let's go to local and i'm going to going to go to edit mode uh, you will see that we have these two connecting edges running from this vert to this vert now this is done automatically by blender uh, let me show you how it's done okay so if i'm going to uh, copy that in here for a second let me just turn off these modifiers because it's confusing a little bit uh, there you go, and let me just remove this one. Uh, so L and delete it. There we go. So now, if I'm going to press Shift V and switch my uh, object orientation, then I'm going to press D and go to my circle, and I'm going to cut it through. Okay, uh, let's say I'm going to use Shift T to taper it. Everything is fine. Okay, everything seems fine, but the moment I'll try to uh, increase the bevel, right? So if I'm gonna try to increase the bevel, you can see that I'm getting these problems here. And the reason is that when I'm going to apply this Boolean, okay? You will see that Blender automatically will create these edges. And these edges go at a very steep angle towards this, uh, this circle. So let me delete that. When I'm going to uh, go to my wireframe and I'll show you what's happening, you will see immediately that when the bevel is applied to this outer side of the circle, this edge is going to collide and sort of get pulled uh, by the bevel. So when I'm going to decrease the bevel, right, you'll see that it's what's happening. See that edge is getting pulled and that's what's causing the shading problem. Now, the way to combat this, right, would be to simply run an edge from this vert to the side. OK, so you run it to the side here and you see that fixes the problem. Uh, because it simply uh, redirects the uh, the edge flow. All right, so when I remove that, see everything is perfect here, right? So when you have bullions on your mesh and you want to run a bevel through them, make sure that the connecting edges, which you need two of them, okay, because each cutout requires two edges to connect to the mesh. So in order to fix the shading, you need to run edges that are going to be 90 degrees angle to the... Uh, bevel outline okay so the bevel outer edge so you see there's a 90 degree angle here right so that's how to fix this problem and the same thing on the other side if i run my you know my knife here to this edge it's gonna get fixed and i'm gonna remove this uh, edge here and everything is peachy so now another thing that i want to do is i wanted to create a chamfer here on this element and you're gonna have two issues in here okay so let me just grab this edge here uh, with control so i'm holding control and selecting this edge here i'm holding control and, and shift and selecting this edge then i'm going to control b that okay so let's control b that just a little bit and do something like this now you see we get this weird artifact here on the edge and that is caused by bevel being too big and basically the bevel that's on this edge and on this edge the overshooting so again, if I go to wireframe, you're probably going to be able to see that when I'm going to adjust the bevel, okay? So I'm going to make this bevel smaller. Now it's small. And now look, if it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger, eventually these two edges are going to meet and overshoot. And when they overshoot, the bevel gets flipped to the outside. And this is what you're getting. You're getting this weird kind of an artifact. There are two solutions to this problem, okay? Uh, either you need to make your chamfer larger or the bevel smaller. Now, the problem is that if I'm going to make my chamfer larger, I'm going to encroach on, you know, these areas here, right? So I cannot overdo it. 
Uh, so I would need to probably make it a bit smaller or move this one a little bit down. And if I'm going to try to move them now on, you know, either axis, this is not going to work. So what I need to do is select one of these faces and go here and click on this custom orientation. Then I need to reselect this um, bit in the middle. Okay. And then we can move it on, you know, this axis here. So GX and, you know, I can move it a little bit. So I can adjust it. So it's going to be more or less, you know, in the middle here um, of this uh, of this shape. So somewhere here. And then I'm going to go to select and select loops and boundary loops to select the loops again. And control B and hold my shift and, you know, kind of chamfer this a little bit like that, right? The bevel is still too big. I mean, it's not overshooting, but it's kind of um, making everything look you know very mellow and fluffy and i want this chamfer to be visible so i'm gonna decrease the size of the bevel to make it a bit more defined and then i'm going to mirror this to the other side so i can do it with hard ups uh, alt x and i'm gonna press d and then symmetry and symmetrize it or i could do it in edit mode with mesh machine alt x and simply move my mouse to the left and this a small gizmo you see Move your mouse and boom, it's going to get copied. So there you go. There's my chamfer and everything is peachy. So usually when you have a problem with bevel, okay, it's going to be either overshooting um, on some existing edges or the connection to booleans is just simply uh, ran at a very, very steep angle. This is very common on, for example, stuff like this, okay? If I'm going to show you that here very quickly on this example, so I'm going to grab a cube and I'm going to scale this, right? Let me just reset this orientation here. And I wanted to run some, you know, Boolean on this, okay? So I'm going to grab a cube and I'm going to run some Boolean here. Press V and X and run a tight Boolean here like this, okay? A really tight one, right? And then if I'm going to add some bevel to it, let's just uh, apply scale. And add some bevel to it you see what happens is it's gonna be an absolute mess right so even if i even if my bevel doesn't overshoot and i'm gonna add weighted normals you still might be able to see some weird artifacts like for example like for example here and this is caused by uh, by an edge being created from this vert here to the corner so it's gonna literally you know run through the bevel so if I'm going to go to settings and wireframe, you see what happens, right? That's what Blender is doing, okay? It's just retarded. So in order to fix it, right, all you need to do is run a cut in the middle with a knife. So press K and it will run an edge through the middle, through all these shapes and fix all the, you know, shading issues here in the corners. So this is how you deal with this kind of a situation, right? Not a problem with bevels as you might have it usually happens with booleans. I'm going to show you one more example. When you create a lot of booleans, uh, it's a union booleans, etc., and eventually you're going to end up with a flipped face. So if this face was flipped, so I'm going to press Alt N and flip a face, which means this face is going to be incorrectly positioned. So the normals are facing outside instead of facing inside. So if I'm going to go to Alt V and face orientation, you can see that this face is flipped because it's red. So if I'm going to add a bevel to it, you can see that it just doesn't work, okay? Because the, fl the face literally is flipped inside out, which means the normals of this face are facing in the other direction, the opposite direction than any other face on this cube. So in order to fix this, you need to grab this face and Alt N and simply flip it and this will fix the problem. So these will be the most common issues you can encounter with bevels and whenever you run into such kind of a problem, always check for edges. So hardops is really easy to use here because uh, all you need to do is simply go to settings and click on wireframe. It will show you all the, you know, edges not even applied because this bevel is still alive, okay? This bevel is still alive. I can remove it, uh, you know, at any time. This is not an applied bevel. So it will show you all the edges on the mesh, including all the modifiers, right? So this is very handy and it will tell you what's the problem and you can very easily find it and rectify it. All right, guys, I hope it helps you out. Thanks so much for watching. Check out our membership offer. It's really cool. At the moment, if you signed up, 
you have access to 13 courses and packs of decals and trim sheets so it's a very powerful offer you can click on the link in the video description and go to our, our website and have a look also if you're learning blender and you're interested in uh, studying from our free resources we have a lot of uh, free content on our website and i'm dropping a link in the video description so if you're interested go ahead and grab either one of our free courses or one of our free pdf files with tons of information including booleans you know hard surface modeling shading etc so if you want to learn more about that go to our website and have a look thanks for watching see you in the next one